Hey, look at this. We have Seth and Deb in the house. We're already on. Wow, that's good. Howdy. I'll come on. Yeah, okay, hold on. on. Let's see. We can fix that once. That would be here. So, so everybody who's watching right now, Seth and Deb are um, – are a couple who met online. They met, uh, Deb yeah. happens to live in Zimbabwe. Seth lives yeah. in the United States. They connected and now they're together. Uh, are you giving us an update? Oh yeah, yeah. it's going great. You go first. <laughs> do, do you want to ask any questions? <laughs> well, I'm here to support you. How's your relationship going? It's going well. Um, I've been there almost it's five weeks now. About five weeks. Five yeah. weeks. Okay, five weeks. Um, so we're doing life together, just like you said. Yeah. Okay, great. We, we yeah. are. We're not living in the bubble, traveling around and yeah. going yeah. here, there, and everywhere. We You're are just not life. having sex twenty four seven. You're actually <laughs> doing this, stuff, is that right? Well, well, yeah. well. We're nearly sixty. Exactly. So. We're, we're doing pretty good. We're doing good. We're pretty doing good well. For okay. Well, great. <laughs> Well, we're really, uh, by the way, since the topic is about monogamy, are you two monogamous with one another? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Have you agreed to exclusivity? Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, so Deb, a lot of women don't believe good men are out there. Is Seth a good man? Yes. I have what makes him a good man? What makes him a good man? Firstly, he's a feminist. Yes. Um, okay. So he's a feminist. Yeah, uh, besides you, he's the only feminist that I've ever man, heard of. <laughs> a, man, a man is a feminist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't classify yeah. myself as a feminist. I, I do, let me just be clear. I subscribe to every human being treated, you know, with respect and kindness um, and to some level uh, equality. I believe in the human condition. I don't like the label of masculine or feminine associated with any of that, but that's just, so, and the reason why I bring that up is one of my favorite books is called Personhood um, and the art of being fully human. My point is, I don't like to necessarily label it. I like to just treat everybody as human beings. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's pretty much what Seth does. And he's, um, He's not um, on the one up, one down. Yeah. Um, okay. I will never ask her to submit to me, ever. We're going to. Well, okay. Part. Well, you know, here's the thing. You say never, but I, I'm never, I'm not a fan. Okay. I'm going to butt in here. I'm not a fan <laughs> yeah. of making promises in the future. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because how many times people have said, and our topic happens to be about infidelity, I'll never cheat on you. And then they cheat. So I appreciate that that's how you feel in the moment, Seth, but um, we only really know it when we connect the dots 50 years later. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe the idea of mutual submission is totally fine. There's, you know- I mean, Oh, I totally believe in that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, you know, I'm, I don't wanna be Lord of the household. That's basically what she means when I say I'm a, yeah. I'm a, I'm a feminist. By the way, before we go any further, if anyone has a question for Seth or Deb, Post the question in the chat box. Yeah. Um, if you have a question, we'll we'll answer questions. But okay, so you guys, all right. So Deb, you still live in Zimbabwe. What's the game plan for the two of you? Uh, our plan is for me to come and live here permanently. Okay. Um, so I I do have to go back home. Well, I don't have to go back home, but I am going to go back to Zimbabwe. Um, to meet my first grandchild. Okay, um, congratulations. Thank you very much. And um, and then I'll be coming back. I, I need to. I would like to spend a little bit of time with my daughter, just helping her out and and getting her settled. And then um, yeah, in the meantime, pack up and and move here. I have a, my own company in Zimbabwe, which I will keep going. Um, I will keep running that. I have a manager and my sister is running it while I'm away. Okay. Um, and there's no need for me to uh, get rid of my company because I've been working remotely from here. So when I say that Seth and I have been doing life, we've literally been shopping every day, working in the office uh, every day together, uh, cleaning together, washing dishes. Uh, really doing that. Wait, wait, so yeah. De Seth does chores and housework? Yes. 
Good for you. Good for you. Yeah. We, 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 we cook together. She does, I mean, I assist with cooking, but she's a very good cook. I, we do I'm just myself. <laughs> yeah. um, I'll, I'll go to clean, clean off the six clean. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. So, by the way, we have a question that came in. How long have you two been together? So we're pushing six. I mean, we met six months ago or seven months ago. Wasn't six. it? Well, October. At, October. No, they had December, January, February, March, April, May. Yeah. Okay. Uh, six or so, seven you months. You're right. Six or seven months. Okay. So you met online six or seven months ago, and then you physically met how long ago? So that was in December. I went to Zimbabwe and we okay. spent over a week together. And, okay. uh, and six then, or seven weeks later, after yeah. we, uh, uh, after we met, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's okay. We so, all right. So let's play devil's advocate here. Uh-huh. You know, and many of you know I was in a long distance relationship, and she moved in, and it didn't work out. So, what makes you think this is going to work out? I think we're, we have a high degree of compatibility and um, we are aligned is a term you would use on really just about everything in terms of our values and morals. And, um, you know, you talked about love earlier, you know, the, what I call the primacy of love or the centrality of love in life. She's of the same mind on that. She's okay. Um, so, it, and, you know, I said this last time, it's what did you say? Character, character, character. And I think she has the character to, have a long-term relationship and I feel like I have that too, or at least I'm working toward that. So. Okay. okay so, I'm from okay. Judy saying it's too early. I'm sorry I interrupted you, Jonathan. No, no, I was just about to say, <laughs> Julie says it's too early to tell with them. There are a lot of factors. Yeah, so, by way, that's a very fair statement. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so may I answer Judy? What's that? May yeah. I answer Judy, please? So, so I don't think so, that. Well, let me, let me, let me. Okay, since you asked me to, um, to respond. You know, it depend. I don't know enough of your backstory to know about how you know your childhood wounds, your adult traumas, all those things. I don't know enough of that to really quantify it. I certainly witnessing the two of you in this very early stage, you have good communication together. Seth has been very responsive. He's jumped on the channel before. Deb, I know you, you're in my group, my private group. We've talked before on the phone. So my sense is if I had to give my gut sense, my gut says 90% chance you guys will succeed. That's what my gut says. How do I know this? Because I don't think either one of you are hung up on the fear of missing out with somebody else. I don't think that either one of you are players in any sense. I think the two of you have actually spent a lot of... See, my gut tells me that neither one of you is so broken that you're using each other for therapy which a lot of long distance people do. They do it out of a fear-based approach. Mm -hmm. Not, by the way, this is on an unconscious level, not a conscious level. So my, my instincts tell me, even though you guys are relatively new, but at the end of the day, let me just say this, and I'm talking to everyone at a moment here. Like, what, who, what the fuck? You like my point, and I'm saying this, like, I'm a big believer of diving in and seeing if it works. I'd rather, had you fail in the first six months than be together for six years and have it fail. Yeah. You know, that's how I approach things. Yeah, I think this yeah. arbitrary, it has to be certainly at the time. I'm like, well, what does that mean exactly? I mean, yeah. we're just supposed to hang back or whatever. I mean, when you meet someone, jump in and see how it goes. And for us, it's gone well. Tell and Jonathan what I told you um, when I first interviewed you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. So really quickly before Seth talks. Ladies, what Deb just talked about is she interviewed Seth, like what I teach in my private coaching. I take, I say interrogate people, but that's what I, I did. I did. So, yeah. so tell us what happened there, Seth. So, so she, I mean, it cut to the chase. It was no big. She basically said she, she met, we were online chatting and Same she said, it. yeah, we said we're one and we read each other's profile. So when we had the first, yeah, when we, we, when we had our first meaningful talk or discussion, it was like, 
I'm too old to fuck around. <laughs> it was like, you know, let's, you know. But you're not allowed to curse on my channel. Oh, Go I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, but you should be able to believe me, you know. Sorry. <laughs> so, Go ahead. That, that really actually endeared me to her, like, because I've been on the dating apps, which I consider to be just a disaster. And um, so I appreciated somebody saying, hey, you know, looks good, but, you know, uh, let's not fuck around. Let's see if there's something there. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was okay. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's a <laughs> door. Are you joking? I hope you're joking. Yeah. <laughs> so she did say that. I'm like, okay, this is good. Yeah, like and, and I was very clear. I said, just said, I want to get married. Yeah. I um, have no hang-ups or fears or I've done a lot of personal development work. Um, showed him the list of your books, your recommended books. I said, I've done all those books. Yeah. So if you are not willing to do any personal development, I'm out. Yeah. <clears throat> Have you guys talked about this book, Eight Dates by Dr. Okay, so my next question for the two of you. Mm. Have you guys had a money conversation? Yes. We talked about Do you about mind it. sharing with our, pardon me? Well, I mean, it, it, we, it, it's kind of always in conversation. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm a big believer. If two people are exploring a relationship is give a, give a kind of a cursory review of your assets. Now, now this, some people will criticize that because that might create an opportunity to take advantage of another human being, right. but, but because resources play such a significant role in a relationship, I think it's important to get a sense of where somebody at is financially, how much they can contribute to a relationship financially. Now, so many people are in fear of having these conversations because they are afraid to be taken advantage of. Well, it's, and that's a very fair fear to have. I mean, I think given that 50% of divorces cite money as the problem, I'm a big believer of having these conversations, but at the same time, it's very vulnerable and, and a person can get used. So it's kind of a double-edged sword, but at the end of the day, just to confirm the two of you have had money conversations, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, because if you are moving, Deb, it, there is a financial expense. There's a whole, sh I mean, it's almost like getting married if you two move in together. Mm -hmm. So there are some financial responsibilities that need to be addressed. Yeah. Um, did any issues come up regarding money? Mm -hmm. You know, we, no, not really. I mean, you gotta understand when she if she she gets here um, until she gets a green card, she won't be able to work. So, but I'm okay. She's contributing to our household as much as she can, more than she even needs to. Because I would say we, well, I want to do things together. Yeah. Um, I say maybe it's weird, but I, I you know things. I say it's only money. I mean, and I really do mean that. It's you know if I buy a present or buy a present or you know, do, do spend money i'm okay with that you know the thing we talked about i'm very adamant about budgeting so um and so she's totally on board about with that and we've done our budget we've done budgeting together Good. we both are deeply antagonistic to debt um and did you say antagonistic yes to debt like is that oh antagonistic to debt, debt. Against debt, and and I have some, so we're going to be working on yeah. things. Uh, I don't, I don't want anything that I can't pay for. Yeah, I absolutely refuse to have any debt. Yeah, yeah. I, it's, you uh, guys mind sharing with our audience your ages? Uh, yeah, we, we we there's a joke. Okay, so for four months out of the year, we're the same age, which is right now fifty nine years we're old. We're fifty nine. So when she oh, turned okay. 50, Wait, now, now I, I've made the joke. I said, yeah, yeah I, you can call me sir and I'll call you madam. And the rest of the year, I'll call you young lady and you can call me old man. But so I you guys are one year away from being the golden bachelor and bachelorette. So, yes. um, so you're right at the cusp. And, and by the way, the reason why I'm saying this, and by the way, for everyone watching, they met online. Okay. So online does work. That, that was long distance. And many of you know I poo-poo long distance for a variety of good reasons. Mm -hmm. But the two of you connected with one another and you made a plan to, Seth made a plan to fly out there and meet Deb. 
you know, um, um, shortly thereafter, Deb came to visit you. So you guys were doing exactly what I say that you should do yeah. if you're going to consider long distance uh, dating or relationship. So Probably can I give you hours of video chatting between oh, all that yeah. hundreds of hours? Of video what chatting. app did you two meet on? OK, Cupid. OK, Cupid. OK. Yeah. You know, I don't use OK Cupid. I think um, it's, I mean, I'm not a fan of any of them, but it's, it's, I think it's the best. Well, one. yeah, of course you think it's great. You know, yeah, exactly. I, I don't know why. I mean, I filled out that questionnaire, which is working <laughs> almost at the same level of um, uh, eHarmony. Yeah. Uh, but I can never, I don't know why. It's the one website that I don't figure out how it works. <laughs> and I do this for a living. Yeah. But I'm happy you met on OK Cupid. That's fantastic. Um, you guys seem to be doing great. I guess we'll um, ask you to come back um, and do a check-in with us every once in a while. Same. Can I reach into the camera and give you guys a big, gigantic Jonathan yes. Bear hug? We'll take it. Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much for being on. I really appreciate it. Uh, Jonathan, thank you for everything. You know, um, Seth just happened to be a unicorn. Had never, um, had never really done a lot of personal development work, but some. But um, uh, what was in his favor that I look for because of you is um, Seth. Seth is very eloquent. Um, before he was uh, in the fancy job he is now, he was an, an English major. And okay. He, um, so, so he's eloquent. He his profile was fantastic. Yeah. Oh. I, I did not. I didn't hire somebody. I wrote it myself, and it was Good long you. and detailed and, and specific. I'm and just like mine, my friend. Just yeah. like mine. I'm a full believer in that. The attraction that was the main attraction, all right. Great, we, we didn't have a beer gut the size of Texas. I'm working on it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we got to lose a few pounds. That's such a good cook. He wasn't because Deb's in great shape, you know, she looks hot, so uh, you better Absolutely. you better lose some weight to keep up with her. I just want to say one thing, Jonathan. I think you're brilliant, okay. and I think oh. I um I love your show, and um. The advice you give is fantastic, and you know Aww. we owe you so much. We do, yeah. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah, you're great. Oh, well, now you just made my night. <laughs> well, folks, keep Thanks. us posted. Write me privately, and I'm going to give you another hug of appreciation. Okay, good. Yes. All right. Bye bye. Take care. I know. So, so I love that Seth and Deb came on, folks. They are a perfect example of what I keep saying over and over and over again. And in all fairness, um, Deb did um, hire me once. We did have a coaching session some months before she met Seth. Why I want to share this with you is she. Ha I thought I'm going to be candid with you. If you're watching this, Deb, you're not uh, aware of this. Um, I was like, God, she's in Zimbabwe. She's fucked. I mean, I literally thought that to myself. But you know what she said to me? She had such conviction of heart, such conviction of heart that she would actually meet a great guy. And literally weeks after that, she manifested what appears to be a great guy. Folks, I'm here to encourage you to stand in your power, to stand in your power, to make, uh, make a stand for your sovereignty. But most importantly, Make a stand for what you desire. I am telling you, it is absolutely possible to attract a great guy just like Seth. Do we know he's a great guy yet? You know, like we only know when we can connect the dots backward. But my gut instincts tell me, and I think everyone watching would say the same thing. He's a good guy and they exist out there. They do exist out there. It is raining great men. I want to invite you all to say it with me. It is raining great men. It's raining great women. It's raining great men. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating with you? Please let me know. Post a comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. If you found value in that brief conversation with Deb and Seth, please hit that like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. You can be so notified of new videos. And if you want to connect with me, there's links below in the show notes, a variety of different places to connect with me.